My name is Phil Lapoidovan and I'm from Mobile Sounds and Security. My chosen charity is the Canterbury Down Syndrome Association. I'm personally connected through a good friend of mine, Paul and Anne Cofed, um, who have a child with Down Syndrome. My family and friends are very supportive and are looking forward to the fight night. My goal for the Fight for Youth is to lose some weight, to raise a lot of money for the chosen charity and to just have a good time. To the Canterbury Down Syndrome Society, this is the first time that I've supported you guys. Hopefully we can do it again further down the track. My opponent is Phil Reddish from the Yellow Pages. Let's have a good fight mate. Enjoy the night and uh, look forward to having a beer with you afterwards. My name is Philip Reddish and I work for Yellow. I participated in the fight for youth because I've been on the couch for 20 years. I needed to get up and do something about my fitness and this is a great way to do it. Great cause. My chosen charity is Pillars. They counsel and look after children whose parents have been put into jail. They are distressed and distraught. They, all of a sudden their mother's not there or their father's not there. Pillars will come in and um, help out with that. My goal for Fight for Youth is um, not to look stupid in the ring, not get my brains bashed in, and, um, and raise as much money as I can for pillars. I like to thank my supporters. I've got a great campaign team that's out and doing a whole bunch of fundraising, and everyone else, the family as well, they've been a great support. So yeah, thank you very much. My opponent is Philip Lapoidovan. Let's do a good job at this. Let's raise some good money, and um, we have a good night on match night. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you at home, we uh, just have the process where the uh, referee checks out the bodyguards and um, and uh, generally has a, has a check of, uh, of their uh, protection equipment and uh, calls them to centre ring. Yeah, and we've got a, uh, an ex-Commonwealth Games referee there tonight. In, uh, an ex-Commonwealth Games representative. Kevin Pine, yeah, Indeed. representative, that's Kevin what I say. Yep. This will be a great bout, John. Three one and a half minute rounds. Round one. These guys weighed in um, in the uh, red corner. He weighed in at 95.2, and in the blue corner 92. So they're they're getting up there in the weights. Yeah, they're in the super heavyweight. Division. Punch a bit those guys at yeah, that weight. They do. And I think they're going to. They certainly are. <clears throat> the guy in the red's got a nice uh, a nice lead, but the other fellas are roundhouse. Look, he's yeah. hooking like yeah. he's hooking. I don't believe this fight will go the distance. No, well. I don't either. No. Right. Unless early it, signs, early signs. Unless he runs out of steam. There you go. Well, what can I say? He walks he's straight gone. into it, unfortunately. He's gone. He, he's yeah, gone. he's gone. Yep. He's gone. It's all over. That's, that'll probably be one of the shorter ones on the night. Indeed it will be. I'm sure he's okay. The doctor will be in to have a look at him. Yeah, he will be. The yeah. only he heard he'd be feeling at the moment would be a little bit of pride, I think. Well, that's right. Yeah. He just basically walked into it. He did. Uh, he wore a beautiful shot. Ladies and gentlemen, our winner of the second bout, as you clearly saw, 52 seconds into the first round by way of KO Philip the Punisher point of This is Philip the Punisher the point of Now all that training you've done Philip were you expecting it to be over so quickly? Uh, not at all, no. We've put a lot of hard work in with Brad and uh, the other boxing boys and yeah, that was just yeah, all too quick, too sudden. It felt like it was only out there for a second, so yeah, it was unreal. Well, this is Philip the Adrenaline Rush Reddish and Philip, that would sure be an Adrenaline Rush. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was something I wasn't expecting, something I just seemed to have walked into. But um, hey, it was. this is all for a good cause and and um, that's what it's all about. And um, yeah, I enjoyed every moment of it, even though I did get knocked out, but hey. Tell was... me, you know, when you got that big hit, yep. what, what were the feelings, what were the thoughts? Um, I was, I mean, you're totally disorientated and all you want to do is try and get up, but I mean, the whole place is just going around in circles in your head and you want to, you, and all you want to do is get up, but 
It's, it's just not there. It's, it's, it's a surreal feeling. I mean, never had it before.